nice hadith uh, there uh, where from um, Sayyidina Anas ibn Malik, you know, he speaks about what the Prophet said, you know, um, Lallahu afrahu bi tawbati abdihi min ahadikum sakata ala ba'idihi wa qad adallahu fi ardin fala mutafana. So this is a hadith where Anas ibn Malik reports the Prophet as saying, Allah is happier about the repentance of one of his slaves than one of you would be about finding your camel. Which he had strayed, which had strayed away from you in the middle of the desert. There's another version of this hadith. Uh, in it's also in Muslim, where the description is where the person loses their, um, you know, their camel, right, which has got all their goods and everything. Yeah, in the middle of the desert, they become distraught. You know, how are you gonna? You can't now no longer uh, traverse the plain of the desert. So what do they do? Often they go and sit under a tree. This happens with believers, and a uh, tranquility descent, and they fall asleep. And like this is something that Allah gives mu'minin at times of immense calamity and affliction. Is this is a particular type of sakina, right? Like to, in Badr. Yeah, like in Badr, right, where the water and they fell asleep, and then they woke up and they were all had wet dreams. They're like what? And then it rained, so they were, there was no water. Then the rain came, and it was like then they were able to do their ghusl, but their, their stillness was like it's mentioned, like it happened at Badr with the companion. <laughs> Gee, huh? Any case, what we about the hadith? So he falls asleep under the tree, right? This is all part of the same kind of analogy, only to awake to find that his camel was right in front of him. You know, like he wakes up, he's gone, he's read in such des- desperation of affairs, and he wakes up and he says, The camel. And then the Prophet says about the man, he goes, and in his happiness, he makes an error and he says, you are my slave and I'm your master. You know, like in, he's talking to, because he's, you know, like in, he's so gone at like the, you know, the miraculousness of how did I get my camel back, you know? Uh, that is a place of what? But they say he's like, he's spiritually, or you could say he was just in a place of such ecstasy, right? The Prophet says, he goes, ah, and he made an error, but he said it from what place? The Prophet said, Kafir, Astaghfirullah, how can you say this? Now, this is, this is why these literalists are just so dangerous people, really, they are. They're really dangerous people. Literalism is such a dangerous thing. You've got clear hadith here. The Prophet was qualifying the statement of a man, and he said it in mistake, but he said it from a place of such exuberance, yeah? The Prophet said, you know, this is what happened. He became overcome. That he actually called Allah his slave because he was so answered in him, you know? You understand what I mean?